Right, hiya. Um, I've ordered, I bought some new threads. This is DMC Cotton Abroader and it's number 25 and it's quite fine. But I want to do some stitching with it today on here just to try it to get a sense of it because I think it's too fine. But as soon as I remove this from the skein, I'm going to forget what it is. So I need to write it on my little card. So if I put <coughs> um, DMC, oh, that's an E, not a C. B and then I put the number 3607 then I'll know when I run out what to get next time so if I just start with this one um, I won't put it on the card now because that would take up all the video time but I'll put the card next to the thread and then I don't lose it so I'm just going to do a couple of French knots in a couple of different colours just to get a sense of how this handles and whether I like it and whether I'm looking for a needle here, whether I like it, whether I need to uh, double it or use it singly. So we'll see. And this fabric I'm using, do you know, I found this bit of fabric and it's actually silk velvet. And silk velvet costs about as much as a small house. And the last time I bought silk velvet was 20 years ago when I was doing my City and Girls. Well, it probably wasn't 20 years ago, but a long time ago when I was doing my city and guilds so that's how long I've had this and I'm only going to use a tiny little corner of it because it's like gold dust so if I just do I mean the surface of the the uh, silk velvet is just amazing it's just wonderful and so here I'm probably using about two square inches of it this may well find its way into one of my little books, I don't know yet, this little sample. But I just want to see how it handles. I think actually they're quite substantial knots considering I was concerned about how thick the thread was. It's quite thin, how thin it was, not how thick it was. Right, so if I fasten that off. but it is really thin I mean when you're used to working with 16 um, this feels so very thin so if I put that near its skin and near the card and I'll do a bit of green now so let's um, so this one so I want DMCB 955 that's actually I've got a stranded cotton that colour and they do look exactly the same colour Alright, so when I've done this, I can again put this thread with that card and then I'll know what it is. And I'll just do a couple of green ones and see. It's the only chance I've had to sample this and um, thread my needle again. And put a knot in the end. But I mean, I may grow up, but then I've got a love affair with stranded cotton. Um, but it doesn't hurt to try new things. So let's do a couple of green ones. One, two, three. Well, I do like it, but I think as well what's helping here is the vibrancy of the colour on this silk velvet surface um, beautiful beautiful uh, no I'm happy I'm ha officially happy I can make an announcement I'm officially over the moon with my new threads I do think to get the effect to get a nice effect to make this look Wowzer, wowzer. I'd have to do a lot more work on it and add a few more colours. I've got a fibre coming through there. But no, what's not to love? What's not to love about that? There. And they have made quite substantial knots, but I would say 
Somebody told me they thought this was the equivalent of two um, strands of stranded cotton. I would say it's more like one. Well, no, maybe not. Maybe they're right. Because, I mean, look at that. Would you get that effect with one strand of stranded cotton? Who knows? I'll pull it. There. It but then the background helps. If I was doing that on a piece of old raggy stuff, um, it probably wouldn't look as nice as that, as appealing as that. So that's it. So I've managed to bore you stupid with a five minute video whilst playing with my new threads. So it was win-win for me and lose-lose for you. I do apologise. But there, that's how it looks.